Will state transfer fall? To answer this question let us define the following. Targeted players. And the requirements. Which players would get affected or get any benefits at all? Those who left the game for more than 60 days in order to attract them back. If you did manage to leave the game for over two months why would you even come back to this game? Which makes me think about the second type of players. Those who build more than one account and left their old account to start on a new states, which many does that. So what happens now? First of all King's group needs more transparency. They first said 10 states, but now I saw over 200 states. But I think the merge or transfer plan has not been completely ignored and would happen this year. The reason is, the older states does not have state transfer test which means they are planning to merge them. As for the state transfer, I highly doubt it would bring any old player back who has quit but it is very useful if you are on those new states. The current gap in enormous. If you could transfer from server 450 to 200 servers, who is at least 100 plus days I say this is insane. But hey who do you think would do that? Wales my friend. Big spender can max easy and finish up everything in a month or so. So even if a big spender left and got the opportunity to start in a new state this plan is very attractive to him. And please hear me out. If we take two players as example, one who is mid or little spender, and one who is a big spender. If we shut down both accounts for 60 days, the mid spender will be hurt a lot if he ever thought of coming back to the game. As mid spender grow by the unique bundles or the special offers and needs consistent login, while big spenders usually buys more of the store normal and daily bundles. But again I think this was not to bring back the players who quit, but to make the old players who abandon their accounts on older states play on them again. I mean think about it. Recall event has failed. Honor buying did horribly fail. And both was meant to play on an account you have abandoned. So how would the new transfer would work? By giving them the chance of starting with advantage on the newest servers, or turning them into support accounts for the current state they are playing on. Which means more money for KG and more fun for the spenders and something that is useful as farms or support for others. But this is also a good opportunity for other mid-spenders or low or even free to play who abandoned their old accounts to play on their current server and use these accounts as farms or support. So coming back to our main question. Will state transfer fail? The answer is, if the intention of the state transfer is to get back the old players then it's a big fail, but the truth is it's not. When a smart company tries to get a honest feedback they need to ask a chilled down community not a raging one or during heat moments. As you could see they have not made the state transfer for the older states, so what they are aiming for is this. Most of these transferred accounts doesn't matter much to the player. He or she already did abandon them by not log in for 60 days. So when those players who own these accounts use these accounts to transfer to their new server, it will have positive impact in most cases. It's like having a support or a new farm. I mean 60 days isn't much for a player who is currently playing on a new state as it won't affect him. This is a step to implement a state transfer with money or gain currency. In the end this is my theory knowing mobile companies. And I know that King's Group are not a dumb company, but very smart one. Let me know how do you feel about state transfer on the comments below. Like the video or I am taking your cat.